so we're off. So Dad, where are we headed to? Uh, we're going to Stradbroke, South Stradbroke. Alright, so not Bribey Island. Not Bribey. Uh, we might make it to Bribey depending on weather, but I doubt it. So hot that I melted, I fell right through the cracks. Now I'm trying to get back Before the cool done run out I'll be giving it my best This and nothing's gonna stop me But divine intervention I reckon it's again my turn To win some or learn some So right now we've got here And we're heading up to this area Up here Bedroom Island It cannot wait I'm yours Right now we're just looking for a place to anchor. Drop it. Over to shore to give the dog a walk. First time driving the boat. Put it in neutral. Neutral. They put it out. Oops. Uh, that's okay. <laughs> put it <out> and on. <laughs> that was her first time, so <laughs> she actually reached forward and had the loop on her wrist, and actually it worked well because it, it cut the loop. motor out. It's Hallelujah. All right, we're all hopping on the tender. got to get ready to catch it. Alright, we're on land. How was the ride, everyone? It was good. Oh, it was pleasant. We saw some fish jumping out of the water. A stingray. How are you all liking Brisbane so far? It's the Gold Coast. <laughs> Just getting some shopping bags from the little general store. So we just came back from the Indian restaurant and it was so good and the service was so nice. Heading back to the rising sun where the boat is anchored in in these calm waters off the Gold Coast where we'll get a beautiful night's sleep and Canaan will wake up in the morning and possibly get us a fish. We're fishing right now. Hey Kai, did you catch anything before? Yeah. What did you catch? I know. I think it was a little brain. Yeah. Oh, cool. Did we have to put it back because it was too small? Yeah. Mm. You liking the boat so far? Yeah, it's beautiful. Perfect weather. So we're taking our dog for a walk so we can let out all his toilet stuff before the next boat trip. If anybody was wondering, our dog is a Labradoodle and they are great breed. Such a good family pet, but they're also a bit energetic. So if you do have one, you really need to take them for a walk every day. Just do them, Matisse. So we have this seahawk or something. It's been circling us for a while.
All right, so we're sailing. Where are we going, Dad? All right, tell us a bit about this. Very protected anchorage around the corner here on the south strait, on the north part of the south strait profile. Right, and how are the winds right now? Oh, the winds are only um, light, look out. Um, yeah, what are they, about five, six, seven knots? And we're doing, we're doing four knots then. We're getting little gusts that are doing about eight knots at the most, and we're getting up to five knots. All right. But we're this dinghy was just slowing us down by one knot, but that's okay. We've got the current behind us, which is giving us two knots. We're on Stradbroke, South Stradbroke, just sailed up the bedrooms. We're just on this beautiful beach. Pliers, show you how to do it. That'll show you. Ready? Okay. So you, you hold the pliers there. Oh, nugget. Uh -uh. Come here. You're holding here. Mm -hmm. And you're rolling around. Oh, bye bye. So you can see the wind is catched in the sails. So here we are. We're sailing back into the Goldie. From um, South Stradbroke, which is yeah, we went to Tipler's Resort yesterday, and and we went a bit further around to the bedrooms, and um, now we're coming back and passing all of these big mansions on the water. And we're just saying how sad it is because we haven't seen a single person out enjoying their mansion. No kids running around, no movement, no action. Um, yeah, it just feels eerie, all these empty houses. Uh, and here we are, enjoying being driven along by wind power. So what do you call this? Sail formation. Well, some people call it duck wing, where we have one sail on the other side, one on the, one on the opposite side. And that's that can only happen when the wind's almost directly behind you. So this is probably the least bonus part is the packing up and you know sibling squabbles, squabbles I mean. There you go. <laughs> that, that's it, that's complete. So all you got to do is put that net and everything back into this box and you got to fold these up like I said and they go in the back. There you go. Now when you're ready, we're going to bring the mast down now. All we're going to use is the winch. We're going to use the halyard for the spinnaker. Hold the mast up, just like we would be the forestay. Um, that winch is around there, so it's going to lower. And then I'm just going to do it by hand. I can actually do this on my own quite easy, where I'm holding this rope and lowering it. So you want to start lowering that, Lexi? Yep, bring it down at reasonable pace. It needs to be quite smooth the whole way down. Let's see how this comes down, I'll just let this down and I'm going to go 